Turning now to the war in Ukraine, Russia launched a new wave of drone attacks overnight after strikes on cities killed three civilians on New Year's Eve. These attacks come as bitter fighting continues in some parts of the country after recent Ukrainian successes on the battlefield. Ian Lee visited one Ukrainian held city that's turned into a test of wills between the two armies. We are on the road to the most dangerous place in Ukraine. Soldiers call it a meat grinder. Locals call it hell on earth. Welcome to Bakhmut. One thing that we're seeing driving into Bakhmut is artillery and tanks, a lot of heavy equipment along the roads. Most buildings here show scars from months of fighting. Russia continuously throws wave after wave of troops at the city. Amid the sounds of battle, we see people huddled next to a grocery store. We have to stay in lines like this for food, she tells me. Just two days ago, a strike scattered everyone, but we came back, and that's how we live. And for what? So many people have died. Would you leave if you were able to? No, she says. This is our home. But Natalia wanted to flee with her family. She tells us she tried before, but her son was killed. He was only two weeks from his 17th birthday. Natalia now keeps her daughter close by her side. And what's your name? Milana. Milana. Are you scared? You're a brave girl. How old are you? You're four years old. What do you hope for your daughter for the future? I want only the best, Natalia tells me. I don't want her to see all of this. I don't want her to suffer and meet the same fate as her older brother. In Bakhmut, the air constantly rattles with death. But life goes on. People run errands. Even the trash still needs collecting. While we've been in Bakhmut, we've heard constant artillery strikes going out and coming in leaving damage like this. But it's just a small part of what's going on across Ukraine. Russia continues to fire drones and missiles into the country, killing civilians and destroying critical infrastructure. The war has been an education for people here, clearly not one they wanted. Was that close? It landed somewhere far off, she tells me. It was outgoing, not incoming. Close is when the windows are shattered in the houses. That's close, she says. Every day, more windows shatter, more houses are destroyed. But as the rally cry goes, Bakhmut still holds. You could feel people's anxiety when talking to them. There was a lot of fear, but also of sort of resignation that their fate, whether they live or die, is not in their hands. Adriana? Ian Lee, I can't help but think of how this war will shape the children that you interview in their future. Thank you so much for your reporting.